Hey guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. That way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere and you don't end up spending thousands of dollars in future repairs. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Edge that generation here from year 2010 to year 2014. If you have a problem where guys the power steering doesn't work, stay with us, we'll explain what you need to check, what often causes that, how to fix it, what we see here at the garage if not fixed on time, okay. Uh, it could be simple fix, but if not fixed on time, you can practically destroy your uh, power steering pump and power steering system. We'll talk about that. We'll explain where you can buy cheap parts and tools at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure to stay until the end. Before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage guys, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart on our YouTube channels. We show you how to fix transmissions, engine codes. This channel specifically will be for fuses guys. And we have more than 14,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Now, if you need help with anything, if you're in the middle of nowhere guys, and you need to find, let's say the fuse on that for edge for a fuel pump, for anti-theft system, alarm system, ignition codes, fuel injectors, anything like that. All you have to do, find the video on our channel, watch it in less than a minute or two, you're back on the road, guys. So that's why we make these videos to save you as much money and time as we can. So guys, if power steering doesn't work, okay, what we need to check, we will demonstrate on this generation Ford Edge. Now, that generation Ford Edge, guys, does not have a fuse for the power steering pump. Now, this is actually a mechanical pump with fluid and fluid and driven by a serpentine belt. We will talk about that in a second. But uh, the newer generations, they have electric power steering pump. Now, if you open the hood, guys, okay, and if you look at the engine compartment here, okay, uh, one second, let me open it here, you will have, okay, the power steering pump, the, the fluid reservoir will be on this side here. Now, uh, there are many different fuses, by the way, just quick reminder for any of you guys working on that Ford Edge, many um, hidden fuse boxes will be in it, that's why we made a video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location on Ford Edge, and before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys, when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so guys when you open the hood okay that's a, a different a different picture of a different edge that we used to own and here guys if you come okay behind the coolant reservoir that's where your power steering pump reservoir will be the first thing you want to check is your fluid level <coughs> if you don't have fluid and the power steering pump quits working you lose your power steering stop immediately first it could be dangerous to drive second you will destroy the power steering pump without fluid it could be caused by a broken hose leaking hose leaking reservoir leaking pump multiple things can cause that if you have fluid you have no leaks and stuff the next thing you want to check is your serpentine belt the serpentine belt is what drives the power steering pump and if the belt fell off it's broken or the serpentine belt tensioner is malfunctioning that can easily guys okay cause power steering not to work as well so it will be the belt that you will need to check and after that okay it could be a bad power steering pump as well if you want to know what bad power steering pump noise sounds like we have videos on the channels when you replace hose or a pump you have to bleed the power steering pump the power steering system the correct way otherwise you will destroy the new pump we have videos on the channel how to bleed power steering pump and always use uh, factory oil oil that's required power steering fluid for that specific specific car because uh, if you're using the wrong type that can cause damage in the long term as well but those are the most common things we see here at the garage 
So guys, this generation Ford Edge has all kind of different fuses and relays. Fuses and relays that could be really hard to find, especially if you live in a small town, if you're in the middle of nowhere. One time we needed a replacement fuse, we couldn't get one and as a result we were stuck there for a few days until shipment came. So we'll recommend to keep some of those spare ones in the glove box for a peace of mind so that thing doesn't happen with you. We'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from. Hopefully the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.